Hello, and welcome to Digital Safe. Today, I'm going to be showing you some of the key features that make Digital Safe the most secure way to manage your files, passwords, and communications. The combination of Swiss privacy laws and military grade encryption provides you with unrivaled security, packaged in an application that's easy enough for anyone to use. Let's get started. This is your Digital Safe dashboard. Here you can see some basic information, such as how much of your allocated storage you've used, notes that you've got in your safe, and some important links. One feature of Digital Safe is a custom, secure email address, where you can send and receive email with the same protections offered to everything in your safe. Once you've set up your email, all you have to do is click on the My Secure Email icon up here to gain access to your custom, private, and secure webmail account. Next, let's see how to create your first note. First, click here on Create New Note. You can use any of the note templates that you see here, but for now, we'll stick to General. You can add an attachment by dragging a file into this window, or add comments to a note here. Remember to add labels to make searching through your notes easier. Once your note is saved, you'll see it appear in this list here. Further to the left, you can see the number of each type of note that you have saved. To edit or delete your notes, just click on the note name you wish to edit, and click on the appropriate icon. If you're editing, hit Update Note after making your change to save it. You can also share notes with other people. You do so through this Share icon. Type in your recipient's email address and a secret PIN that they will use to view your note. Make sure you let your recipient know what the PIN is. If you want the share to expire, click on Set Time Limit for this share and select the date and time from the calendar. Once you've entered all your information, click on the Share icon. Your recipient will receive an email notification from Digital Safe that a note is waiting for them. You can also grant the recipient the ability to copy a note into their own Digital Safe. If you do this, then they can make a copy and work with or share the file however they want. If you don't, once your time limit expires, they will no longer have any access to the note in question. To get more information about your previous activity on a given note, click on Show Details. Here you can see which users you have shared a note with and when those shares will expire if you set time limits. You can always stop individual sharing by clicking on the Stop Sharing button. You can also view the shared note history by clicking on Note History. You will be able to see when your note was viewed, and if you attach the document to your shared note, you'll be able to see whether the recipient has downloaded and opened the document you shared with them. Click on Back to Note Preview to return to your notes. When another Digital Safe user has shared a note with you, you will find it in your Received category. If the person who shared a note with you gave you permission to do so, you can copy a received note by clicking on the Copy icon. Once you've selected OK, the note will appear in your safe under the category in which it was created by the sender. You will be able to use all the features of Digital Safe to manage your copied note. Let's look at a few of the visual cues that make it easier to assess what you're seeing inside your safe. As I mentioned earlier, files can be attached to your notes. If you see this paperclip icon here, it means that a note has files attached. And if you hover over top of it, you can see how many files are attached to a note. You may also notice some notes have a red dot next to them. If you hover over the dot, you can see how many users the note has been shared with. Finally, you may notice some of the notes are a different color. Those with the highlighting have been shared with you by another user. Now let's take a look at a special feature of your digital safe, which is the ability to generate and manage passwords. To do this, you simply create a new note, as we've already discussed, and select Password as the note type. You can either create your own password, or with a single click, you can have Digital Safe create a password for you. If you prefer to use your own passwords, you'll get some feedback below the password from Digital Safe which lets you know just how secure your passwords are. This is a great tool for checking up on the security of any passwords that you like to use to protect your accounts or files. 
Next, let's take a look at managing your preferences. Click on the gear icon to enter the settings menu. You've got several options here, such as profile, where you can view or change your personal information, including your password. Billing, where you can view your current subscription, billing information, and upgrade your account. If you've subscribed through a third party instead, check with your provider to access this information. Settings. This is where you can adjust your preferred auto logout time. And terminate account. This is where you can cancel your account at any time. If you do terminate your account, all your data will be immediately deleted. At any time, click on Back to Notes to go back to your digital safe. The last thing we're going to look at briefly is the group functionality of Digital Safe. If you have a business package, you can add other users to your account. Users can be added by selecting the Users option and then using this Invite New User button. You can also remove users if you no longer need them on the account. When you have multiple users on an account, you can manage them as a group. Now, when you create a new note, you can share it with groups as well as adjusting the permissions for how the members of the group or individual users can interact with that note. To assign access rights, you simply click on the Access Rights button when you're viewing the note you want to share, and then select the group or person you want to share them with. You can then allow them to either view only, or to be able to actually update the note, share it with others, or delete it. Digital Safe also maintains a note history in case you need to backtrack to a previous version. All right, that's our video for today. Hopefully, this gives you an idea of the power of Digital Safe, which can help you keep your passwords, documents, and communications completely private and secure. Thank you for watching.